Hi. Craig from Rugged Woods has challenged me to burn this string. The idea being, we get a little bit of lint, we've procured our uh, fuel, and the first person to burn through that bit of sisal, which is about the only thing it's really good for, because it's not only good for lashing, I do apologise for lying to you all earlier, it doesn't shrink when it's wet, it just becomes floppy and naff. Um, but I'll touch base on that in the future. So, um, yeah, first to burn through the, uh, the rope. Exactly, right, so I'm here with Steve Laidlaw, the man himself, um, and Steve got in touch with me during the week and said, look, uh, I'm coming down Friday, um, we need to do some kind of a challenge. So this is what we've come up with, and basically the idea is that we've got to build a fire so that it burns through the, I call it twizzle, twizzle, sizzle. it's actually sizzle, but what the heck. We're going to burn through that, and the first one that burns through it wins the challenge. So, um, the rules are, we get lint, we get our wood, and we're not allowed to stack the wood so it's touching the sizzle, twizzle, 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 oh. sizzle. So it's, we're not allowed to do that, we've just got a straight burn, build the fire underneath, and see how long it takes. Um, so there you go. Uh, the only thing is, what I'm worried about, when I kick his butt, that he starts crying. So we've just got to hope that he, he's not that way inclined. So, is hey, that way inclined, Steve? Only time will tell, Craig. Okay, that's cool. So here we go. Are you ready for it? Yep. Right. Ooh, a different way. Right. Three, two, oh! oh. I see, this man likes to do things in a different way. He cheats the little git. <laughs> Out of the way, poach. Now the question is, who's going to win? Now normally when you put under pressure, you tend to make mistakes. But we seem to be doing alright at the moment. We are allowed to go and get more wood if you need it Steve, so don't worry about that. Oh, I think Steve's has gone out. It's not looking good. It's the old turtle in the hair scenario. Come on, Stevie. So I'm going for the oxygen, oxygen, oxygen approach. Try and get as much oxygen in there without putting it out. Make sure that I don't starve my fire. Yeah, this is just panicking. <laughs> I don't profess to be any type of expert, I will say that. <laughs> I don't know, I think you get a fire going well, usually. Not as bad as that pyromaniac holding the camera. Well, I know. Burn it, burn it, as you go. <laughs> what is it about women and fires? Isn't it?
Now we've got this this size or about what was it, about two foot off the ground is it? You can you can do it at whichever whatever height you want you can do it. I mean it's, it's all a bit of fun but it's great for the kids as well because yeah, it gives them fun. a lot of success. Well some, they some push kids through roof here. Some kids don't but some kids do. You know what I mean? But he's getting there. So I'm just going to position my fire a little bit differently at the minute because the wind's blowing it out this way. It's all about not panicking, it's all about just doing the fire just as you normally would, but with a competitive edge. Yeah, the wind's blowing this way, so it's blowing the fire away from the string. I think my other stick's going to set light before anything else. But we're getting there. I'd like to say it's an opportunity to thank my uh, current employer for knocking down an office and providing <laughs> me with all this fantastic wood, which I've never burnt before, and I've no idea how energetic it is. <laughs> So you're having a bit of a hard time at work at the minute, Steve, aren't you? <laughs> to say the least. I don't know about that. I mean, setting fire to stuff is a bit of, bit of therapy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm not crying as much in bed, you know, on a night, so... <laughs> which is good. Oh, my fire's getting nicely warm now. Nicely warm. The question is, will it reach? the sizal. That's the question. Oh, now, sit down for a little while. You may remember earlier on in Craig's video, he said that you're not allowed to stack wood, <laughs> so it's actually touching the, uh, and that is actually higher than the string. Just saying, <laughs> I'm not being a stick <laughs> on it. If Morris McWhere to were here, <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, he'd be having none of that, would he? How's that? How's that? <laughs> Put that there, shall I, Craig? That <laughs> yeah, go for it, Steve. <laughs> oh look! Oh! It's gone back out again. But I think this is about to go. I will say that. As soon as it hits a critical temperature, it will go. I did moisten your. Oh, that's all right. Well, I, I can't that. I'll just dry it out first, you know. Oh, referee, I'm burning your side. Burning mine. <laughs> what's what's ah. occurring? Oh, look, 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 look. Is it going to go? Is it going to go? I think it's going to go. Yes! Oh, yes! Burnt puppy, come on. So <laughs> I am two out of two. I beat uh, Stevie from Knapsack Hammocks. And I've got to say thank you to Stevie from Knapsack Hammocks. Because it's, I've never seen this before, and I just think it's a great little um, exercise, particularly for kids, uh, and it's a great bit of fun. Uh, if you haven't seen Knapsack Hammocks, if you haven't been to their website, go and have a look at it. Because I tell you what, the stuff is absolutely gorgeous, um, and I will be having one of their hammocks in not too distant future. Um, so thanks for this, Stevie. Um, I won again. I'm going to think we're going to have to do it challenge between you and Steve just to see who who gets on now mine has been burnt and what have you for quite some time now Steve's still has to burn through it you will, look 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 it's tightening here look I can see it this stick is setting a light your fire is setting my fire even more alight the woods is burning oh my god there's quite a bit of energy in that isn't it isn't it just I'll tell you what, I did think I'd literally snuffed it. Yeah, I did as well. Um, I've still got some so spare lint. It's amazing what a little bit of, a little bit more oxygen will do if there's a little ember there, isn't there? Well, I'd say, I, you know what, you know, I'd, I'd started it out, I, th I thought I'd put a bed on to get, get away from the coldness and the dampness of the ground with a tinder underneath it, you know, and then yeah. the lint on top, 
immediately lit the lint which was going according to plan and I'm looking for like my first burn and I'm thinking you just put it all underneath the fire yeah and that's when I started to put the bigger stuff on and then I thought right I'm in the wrong place and it still is in the wrong the fire wants to be over here doesn't it <laughs> doesn't it though yeah. um 